Release the container and fill it with your prepared string hopper mixture and compact well. Place securely on the holder, aligning properly with the pressing disc. Place the string hopper tray. Press and hold the manual button until the first string hopper is made. In this method, you can continue making string hoppers by pressing and holding the manual button. Making string hoppers with the auto button. First, set the tray rotation knob to a suitable low value to control the pressing time. Now, place a tray and press the auto button once to make one string hopper. Use adjustment knobs to set the correct thickness and spread of the string hopper. Repeat the process to continue making string hoppers. When the container is empty, the shaft will automatically return to the top. Now, let's see how to use the automatic mode with the tray sensor. After removing any trays, press and hold both manual and auto buttons together for one second. This will enable the tray sensor. Now every time you place a tray, a new string hopper will be made without pressing any buttons. In this mode, high production speeds can be reached. However, please remember to use this mode in indoor locations only, away from direct sunlight. To get the exact string hopper you need, you can change the control knobs as follows. Tray rotation knob sets the pressing time and the thickness of the string hopper. Shaft speed knob controls how fast the string hopper mixture is pressed and tray speed knob changes the turning speed of the string hopper tray. You can move the string hopper tray in or out to control the spread of the string hopper.